Hello, my lovely little Dungeoneers. We are back and ready to kick some tail. Are you guys ready? I sure as shit am. We're gonna go exploring. Who is next? I actually forgot who is next. Who's next? Somebody shout out. Who is next? Who is next on our list? I need to know. I should have asked before the break it was over. But you know what? I didn't think about it. We were talking about the election. Who gives a shit? Who's next, ladies and gentlemen? Who would let who dares to challenge the next ice cream headache? It is Noble, and Noble wants the most holy grail knight. We can totally make that happen. Uh, let us see here, my friend. It did belong to Zombie, but unfortunately, he became undead. And so now, Noble Lance has his turn at the most holy grail knight. Noble 15 by this point, to be quite frank with you. And you are ready, my friend, with a brand new, spanking, shiny, golden, unwrapped, most holy grail knight. And we're going to continue to quest number two, let it go, where we must quickly collect the ice cream before she notices. Mm, we're going to sneak some ice cream out underneath that princess's nose, y'all. Let's fucking do this. Hmm. I see, there is some vanilla ice cream littered about. How could I let this happen? The, this most holy grail night is just a rube. Uh, tell the snogger to stomp them, feed them to the gelato cube. Oh, it rhymed. That was very delightful. Uh, let's see here. So, to start off with, we could, uh, we could try and take down one of these uh, slushy elementals. Please be a good founder. Please be good. Yes! Fucking yes! Uh oh. Well, the count is changing, ladies and gentlemen. Can you feel the tides of change? It is very, very scary indeed. Well, Noble, let's press forward. The most holy grail knight ain't afraid of no mountain goats, ain't afraid of no election, and certainly ain't afraid of no ghosts. And. The headbutt is coming our way. That's absolutely fine. You're going to deal two damage. We're going to heal two damage. And in the end, you're going to be the one suffering. Uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, mm, shit. Unfortunately, it's going to steal one of our cards. And I'm going to end up using Flagellate here to deal one of our retribution damage to it. Yeah, I am okay with this. I am totes okay with this. It's going to Divine Hammer us and heal back one, but we deal two, and that Mountain Goat is no more. No more. And Noble, you have your first choice, my friend, the Spyglass, to give you ranged for all of your physical damage. It's kind of nice. The Wooden Stool for Repel, Stupidity, and, of course, Bash. And the, f the Wool in the Scarf, the nice, cozy, latest fashion scarf with no shirt, which gives you Holy Seal. The choices are yours and yours alone. Good luck. Noble wants the spyglass. You got it, my friend. So we have now that offhand ranged ability. And is that going to be enough to take down the slushy elemental? Who, of course, is weak to physical damage. So this could be, this could be nice. This could be a good match for us. I'll find this frozen wave. Oh, that's the end of the song, unfortunately. It is snow minimal, so it will have some special cards. But we have a fountain at our disposal. Hero gains one HP per damage blocked next fight. That could be kind of nice, because I think we have some blocking already. And... I mean, we have no choice. We're going straight for that slushy elemental. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I don't think anybody in my chat wants to be kind of red tonight. And we have a snowball coming our way. But that's absolutely fine because our Divine Hammer is going to go right around it and also go off first. Thanks to the loveliness of the range at ability. And I think I'm going to go ahead and use further. So that way we will activate our retribution trait. And deal one extra damage to it. Because fuck yourself. And that frail is going to go off first, motherfucker. And the slushy elemental is dead. 
deader than drunken dead. Now, here's the funny part, Noble. Because of that ranged ability, suddenly everything changes for you. What could have been a death turn suddenly turns into a winning victory. And so you have another choice. The thermals to give you repel, rekindle, and fire blast, which is awesome. The crossbow to give you shift and interrupt, both of which would now be given a plus one damage thanks to the magic of your ranged trait, which you already have. And then the ocean staff, which would give you blessed, holy seal, and smite. Now here's the thing to think about. As the uh, most holy grail knight, you already have some great, great healing at your disposal. So that blessed trait would be awesome. But so would the crossbow. And so would the thermals. <laughs> so these are two these are three really great choices for you, Noble. I don't they're all they're each going to choose how you play this round. So as we say, the choices are yours and yours alone. Good luck. Noble wants to see the staff. You got it, my friend. It is Blessed, Holy Seal, and Smite. Now, that does start the Holy Two line, which eventually gives you some really great healing abilities. So, I don't know. Kind of worth it. Now, remember, all we have... Oh, fuck. I almost clicked an item for you. All we have to do is win three fights. And that third fight is, I think, with a gelato cube, which we've killed a bunch of times already. So, I don't know if you need that much healing, but I know it'll sure as shit be nice. Okay, so we have a nut that uh, the, the lovely abominable snowman over here just ready and waiting for us. Let's go ahead and put a gem in his palace. I think that's a good idea. Uh, also, a good fountain. Excellent. And that clairvoyance is going to be really handy, too. Because that means we'll be able to see uh, all of the cards of our next opponent. Mm, unfortunately, that is not blockable. But that's fine, because Absolution is going to heal me for three hearts this time. <laughs> ah, that feels really good. And basically, that means that a lot of the times when you end up uh, flagellating yourself, that one extra health of damage, yeah, that's suddenly going to uh, turn very, very good for us. Let's go ahead and use Fever. Because that's going to activate our Retribution trait and deal a lot of damage in and of itself. And I'm thinking that let's Divine Hammer our way out of some of the damage we just did. Yeah, I'm seeing how this is going to be a very good round for you, Noble. A very, 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 very good round indeed. Let's hit him with the Divine Hammer. Smack! Heal two hearts, and Noble takes the victory. Oh. Well, we have another choice. The barrel, which gives you uh, stupidity and also plus one head, uh, head, heart. The dessert spoon, which gives you shift, but you would lose blessed and smite. And the arcane wand, which would make you lose all three of those things and get you mind strike and rekindle. Uh, so, <laughs> basically, unless you want the gold, you can take the barrel. But what would you like, Noble? This is all for you. Noble wants the barrel. You got it, my friend. A wise decision indeed. Uh oh. I did not mean to do that. God damn it. Whatever. Doesn't matter. I accidentally just closed out the overlay that does when everybody follows or donates or anything like that. I kind of forgot. Okay. So I think uh, let's go ahead and put this here. Mm, God damn it. I wish I could lure you towards the fountain, but I can't, unfortunately. All I can do is send you on your merry way towards this slushy elemental. And hopefully a next victory. I uh, I see this going very well for you if we can just win. Because both of these are going to give you some really good items. Okay. The slushy elemental is coming our way. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use Absolution here to heal back the very damage that he did and then some. It's that and then some that makes it really, really awesome. We're going to flagellate ourselves yet again to deal some of that damage right back and heal it all. Look at that. See, that's what I was talking about. When we take that extra third damage and then um, um, our retribution hits, it really kind of 
takes all of the disadvantages away from that. Hmm. He's only going to hit us with one. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and use the Divine Hammer. Heal back two. Excellent. Oh, I see. So the Blessed only resolves itself at the end of the round. Not when it act not when the healing itself activates. Uh, we're going to go with the Divine Strike here, which is going to catch a third physical damage. And we're going to recycle Mind Strike, unfortunately. That's okay. We'll use Icicle to deal the last two magic damage that we need. And look at fucking that. Noble wins yet again a handy victory. Uh, and has the Ski Pole, which gives you two health, Fate Curse, and also Slice. The Eye Patch, which gives you Shift and fucking Interrupt. Hello! And the Shimitar, which gives you Slice and Dice at the cost of Blessed, Holy Seal, and Smite. Well, Noble, <laughs> yep, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I didn't even have to ask you for that one. I, 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 yeah, called that from a mile away. And I guess now we can go down and finally face that slushy elemental, get the gem, and this clairvoyance trade that we have been desperately wanting. And it is a gelato cube up there, just for the record. Hmm, that freeze is still gonna hit us, but we are gonna hit it back for a nice hearty two magic damage. Uh, you're not gonna be able to block my shit this time. And we're gonna recycle the shift. God damn it. At least it wasn't anything bad. Um, na, 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 na. We're gonna go ahead and do interrupt. And that now does three fucking physical damage instead of the regular one. And let's do the fervor to absolutely overkill. I mean, that is 100% overkill. And it makes me feel super great. Noble, you have another choice. Uh, the fur coat which would give you Fate Cursed, Repel, and Counter. The Voodoo Mask, to give you one heart, Blinding Light, and Divine Shield. Wow. Wowie wow wow. Wow 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 wow. Wow. But you would lose Shift and Interrupt for it. Is that worth the trade to you? And then the Ski Pole, to give you two health, Fate Cursed, and Slice. Now what's funny is the Ski Pole actually cancels itself out if you don't have any favor because it takes away the two health that it gives you if you're at zero which we are right now it's interesting you would still get the slice from it but you you don't get the health unless you have favor but it's not like it takes away health either so it kind of works out fate neutral until you get some you get some fate we need the favor of the fur coat yeah yeah, we need favor for the fur coat, unfortunately. And I don't think that we have any nearby. Now, I can try and find some. You know, I mean, it's not like you have an underabundance of health. For fuck's sake, you know. But. Okay, fur coat it is. To get rid of the stupidity card. I think that that was a good call. I really, really do. We can try and find. Yes. There is a rune of the fates. The rune, the room of the rune of the fates is what we need. And I'm going to go ahead and take down a gelato cube while we're there. Because guess what? Level 3 fucking items are what I want. Are you ready? I think you're ready. And I'm going to go ahead and put this mountain walrus right here. Let's go ahead and make it an easy one before we take down the final boss. All right, Gelato Cube. With predictable and frail, this should be a very, 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 very simple fight indeed. Flagellate! Flagellate! Oh, man. Unfortunately, uh, we didn't really get to do our deck, our extra damage there because, well, he blocked it. But he is weak to frail. And there you go. We activated our retribution damage thanks to the loveliness of that. Shift for another three damage. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. I almost feel bad for how hard that just hurt. But at the same time, I don't feel bad at all. I don't feel fucking bad at all. Divine Hammer with the speed and strength to knock that gelato cube right square out of the park. Congratulations, Noble. You are kicking some serious ass right now. Um, Would you like the ice shield? <laughs> Fuck off that. Holy shit. Blinding Light, Divine Shield, Bash, and Slam. Uh, the Cursed Bow, which would give you Decay, Fleet-Footed, and Haste. 
and then the Coral Crown, which will give you Spiky and two health at the cost of Shift and Interrupt. You have two fights left in front of you. We've basically won. So at this point, you want to have some fun. <laughs> Do you want to get the Ice Shield or the Coral Crown? I think both will be great things for you to wear. I haven't really watched that movie, so I don't know the song well enough to keep going with the melody. I apologize. <laughs> But the choices are yours, and you're alone! Good luck. Noble wants the Coral Crown. You got it, my friend. With that blocking and extra health, I dub the winner of the dungeon! Especially now that we have the favor, and you now have a fuckload of health. A fuckload of health. Like, not just a regular load, a fuckload of health, my friend. Um, let's, no, not the Snogger. That's the one I want. I want the gem. I want the massive gem. Let's do this fucking thing. Most Holy Grail Knight is going to Most Holy Squash this mountain walrus right about now. And I'm not going to feel bad about it at all. We're going to get some Absolution up in here and heal back three health. Uh, how about a Divine Strike? How do you feel about that unblockable physical damage, son? And yeah, yeah, I know we can't block it, but I don't really care. It's the one that deals the most um, And divine hammer just to go ahead and finish off the round. How do you like me now mountain walrus? Hmm. You have another choice my friend the ice cream scoop to give you shift and mind strike The seafarer's brace to give you mind strike and retribution which you already have innately and the daisy crown to give you one health which you well you already have two but it would give you rekindle do you want any of that or do you just want the gold i mean the bad part is we can't use the gold either because you're literally about to walk on the final square so really there's no choice we can take the gold and just lay it out somewhere else and hopefully hopefully pick it up but yeah that's kind of what i thought you would say but we did give him another favor, which is great because now we have Burning a Most Holy Grail Knight card. Which is not really as good as you would think. Oh well, at least it was only a gold pouch that you got Noble and not like a big gem or something like that. Excuse me. And this gelato cube shall be no more very shortly. I am going to block your fucking one damage and heal back two. Don't mind if I do do. Um, damn. I really wish that we had, uh, that, that the gelato cube had sluggish. That would be really great. To just, like, double all of our blocking for no real reason whatsoever. Let's go ahead and hit it with absolution to heal back all of that damage that it just did to us. And then some. And I think I'm gonna counter with a regular old divine hammer. Hammer! <laughs> for those of you who remember Gundam. Um, uh, yeah. I'm thinking dealing damage at the cost of only one blocking, especially when that's going to be the damage that kills that gelato cube, is the way to go! And we have another choice for you, Noble. Would you like the heater shield, the climber's axe, or the bone helmet to basically take home with you? I mean, at this point, you've won the game. This is your final choice. What would you like your parting gift to be, my friend? <laughs> The heater shield, you got it. And with that last scoop of vanilla ice cream, we can split. Ah! I've been holding on to that one all night. And we have a new scar, hard-headed. Plus, uh, plus one heart, but minus one starting hand size in battle. Hmm. That could be really, really disturbing for this most holy grail knight. But I think we'll be able to play that out because I do have the trait or the, the excuse me the medallion that makes it so that um, let me let me let me just show it to you yeah the idol of the crone which gives you plus one starting hand size in battle so we can basically even it out until we get this one where we get plus one starting hand size in battle and arcane one which would be kind of nice at two thousand fucking gold. 
Well, we're at 1540, so we're definitely making some progress. I say we go exploring again. Who's next, ladies and gentlemen? Who is next up on the chopping block? I call for a Dungeoneer. AJ, would you care to go? You haven't gone in a while. Weasel, I think you are the keeper of the list, my friend. So who's it going to be? Okay. Weasel says it's zombie. Zombie, are you ready, my friend? You are up if you are around. Who would you like to play? <laughs> Is it going to be back-to-back -back victories for the Most Holy Grail Knight? Because that would be Most Holy Awesome. <laughs> Ah, I see what you mean, zombie. And we'll be able to get there at some point here soon, I promise. Uh, it's just... Earning that goddamn money. Earning that money, honey. And, well... Would you like to take your most holy grail knight in, or would you like to choose another dungeoneer? He did just get a decent... Trait. Weasel, I think that's perfectly acceptable. As the keeper of the list, you're entitled to one free go a night. That's just polite. <laughs> Absolutely. Maybe we can raise that uh, battle scar up a little bit to something slightly better. And so the most holy grail knight switches allegiances once again to become the most unholy of grail knights. And stick the crone blessing on it. You got it, my friend. Uh, let us go. Have you killed a princess? I think it's time for us to put our sword through her and end her life. You're going to have to fight your way out. Because apparently we, ha we got caught sticky fingered after stealing all that ice cream. <laughs> I'm the worst. Let's fucking do this, zombie. No Dungeoneers were harmed in the creation of this tips, but a lot were harmed in the finishing of this game. I, I gotta tell you, it was a lot. You think you've really won? You think you'll free my snare? But you'll join this frozen s snow witch and decorate my lair. <laughs> oh, she's gonna be fun. Defeat generic non-infringing cartoon princess named Elsie, 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 Elsie. <laughs> she has respite. If you take no damage on this turn, gain one health. Ooh, that's not going to be good. We got to make sure she takes damage every fucking turn. And then this is a monster spawner that's going to keep spawning monsters <laughs> if we don't escape quickly. So let's do this number. And I'm thinking about putting an abominable snowman in our way. Although it is just going to spawn a level 1 here in just a minute. Let's go ahead and take the 1. I agree, Weasel. That's I love this game for little jokes like that. It is my favorite. Uh, so let's go ahead and go with Divine Hammer. God, oh, now I miss... Now I miss that fucking um, Blessed Trait. So bad. That Blessed Trait was amazing. If we can get that back, Zombie, that would be awesome. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and go around your magic shielding and heal back the damage we just took. See, this is turning out a lot easier when the Abominable Snowman only deals like one and two damage at a time. I'm saying Bulwark might not be a bad idea either. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use Fuhrer so that way we can get our retribution damage going off and also the victory. Hooray, zombie! Your first choice, my friend. The Spyglass, which last round turned out amazingly for us the eyeball charm to give you one health and also fire blast not a bad choice and then the cutlass to give you tenacious slice and die zombie already called it already fucking called it spyglass yep 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 <laughs> um okay 
So the Abominable Snowman uh, over here is actually coming straight for us, as will this one at the next turn. I kind of want to go ahead and connect it, because that's going to be a Rune of the Fates battle, and I'm wondering if we'll be in the right place at the right point for it. I'm hoping so. Uh, let us go ahead... That's a Fountain of Heroism, right? Let's go ahead and put another snowman here, so that way we can get two items under our belt by the time we take on a level 2 creature. What do you think? I think that's a good idea, zombie. Especially considering how easily we just killed that last one. Uh, he's gonna come in with a nice hearty bite. That's absolutely fine. Here comes my two damage in. Fucking first. Which is going to be the key to our victory. I can almost guarantee it. And we're gonna heal back three and deal one. Don't mind if I bloody well do. Wah! Divine hammer to heal back one health. And we got thumped on the head. Little body poop poop. Yeah, kind of, sort of, zombie. We just have to be really careful about those monster spawners. Because they keep coming. If I remember correctly. And we have to figure out how to connect to the princess's spot. At some point. Uh, guess what? This divine hammer is going to be quick and kill that snowman before he even gets to calculate his goddamn damage. And zombie, you win another round! And we have a choice of the sea charts. Ooh, those sea charts. Which give you wise to basically finally give you that crone's uh, uh, blessing that we have already. The rekindle, and then you have the rope to give you wise, and the brass knuckles to give you bash and slam. Which actually would go pretty great with the, the, the range that you already have because it's more physical damage. So I don't know. The choices are yours and yours alone. Good luck. Okay, brass knuckles it is. Yeah, we're gonna get you some brass knuckles, yeah. And also a new fountain, a fountain of heroism. You dungeoneers think you're so great. You think you're all so tough. But get in here, take a try. And I'll blast you till you're mush. That was rude. Miss generic, non-infringing cartoon princess. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put a patch of gold right now. The profitable snowman. Hmm, who tends to pickpocket people if we're not careful. But we're going to sneak on over here and take on, who is this? What is this? The respectable snowman, who is sitting on top of a level 3 chest. Hmm, he's going to try and straighten himself up, but we're going to basically do the exact damage that he's about to heal. So, how do you like coming out of net zero, my friend? Bam! Excellent. Hmm... I kind of wish we had a little bit more blocking, or at least bulwark, or something. Because all of these little ones and twos are... Like, we can deal with the threes, because that kind of activates our retribution. And the twos, we can usually take a damage by our flagellator, one of our abilities that hurts us, to be able to deal that extra little something. It's these ones that are going to end up being the death of me, you know? For, for, for lack of a better term. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use slam, which is going to be quick and fucking unblockable. And that respectable so man got handed a very respectable defeat. Zombie, you have the corset to give you rekindle and repel. The wolf hat, which gives you fury, repel, and counter. Not a bad choice. And the fur coat to give you fate, cursed, repel, and counter. What's funny is repel and counter are both already over here on the wolf hat, but you would also get fury. Yeah, zombie, you got it, my friend. The most holy grail wolf knight. And we have another choice. The long coat to give you show off, shift, and interrupt. Not bad, especially considering your spyglass. The frost armor to give you fate charged. Wow. Plus two hearts if you have three or more favor of the fates. And also, brace and shield wall. There's your fucking blocking. All your blocking. And then the popsicle to give you rekindle, mind strike, focus, and also a stupidity card, but you would lose your range. What's it gonna be, zombie? The frozen grail knight. You got it. Considering you don't have any armor on, even if we never get fate charged, that's still a great item for you. Although, if I can help it, I would really like to get us fate charged. That would be awesome. I just, I just, 
unless we get a straight uh, section here that has a rune, I don't know how it's going to be possible. Hmm, he is aggressive. He's a leaper. Ooh, that's not good. I mean, it doesn't do anything during the battle, but just as far as, like, knowing what the other ones do, yeah, that's good information to have. Okay. It's going to try and bite us. That's absolutely fine. I'm going to go ahead and heal that damage back up. And also the damage from the turn before. Don't mind if a bloody will do. He's going to try and stomp it out. Stomp it out. But that flagellation is going to go all over his face, son. Along with some hearty retribution. I am going to use the slam attack. Because that way we can just go ahead and finish out this fight. Because I'm tired. I, I really want to just get through it. Let's find out what we have here. The fish scale cow. The dead, char dead lizard charm. And the wooden board. Neither of which are worth losing your range trait. And also, while this is decent, because of the health bonus, losing brace and shield wall is not worth it. Absolutely not worth it. Go for the gold. You got it, my friend. And here comes that one. Yep. Basically, at this point, we're kind of stuck in this no man's land of never being able to get out of battle. And I am not excited for this at all. Uh, let's go with Divine Strike. We'll keep a hold of that hammer for the healing ability in just a second. And slam him again. God, all of these two damage turns. I mean, this is this is this is my dream. This one's gonna be for three. And also for the win. Well, because he hurt himself to kill himself, and also I won. Uh, and zombie. The sash. To give you shift and rekindle. The arcane wand to give you mind strike and rekindle. And then the Cutlass, to give you Tenacious, Slice, and Dice. You know, I think the Cutlass is actually the other one that's slightly better than your than your Knuckles. Mainly because it gives you Tenacious, and honestly, I don't I don't ever see us getting down that low of health. But having more, more traits is always better. So, I don't know. You got it, my friend. Most Holy Pirate, the most frozen Holy Wolf pirate knight yeah yeah something like that and let's see Ooh, the good news is we'll actually be able to encounter this one on his rune and oh, I can't attach there god damn it so much gold that I'm gonna miss too fuck it we're just gonna go we're just gonna go there'll be plenty more gold where that came from especially once we kill this boss uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do Divine Strike. Because I don't want him to block the one damage that we're able to do. Now I'm gonna use Absolution to heal thyself. Most Holy Grail Knight, heal thyself! And he's gonna try and stomp it out, but we're gonna block all that damage and store up some huge, huge, huge four physical damage. And also, we would have blocked the one that he had, but it doesn't really matter because he's also fucking dead and we have another choice my friend the grenade the wooden board and the paper crown all of which are absolute bubkis so i'm gonna guess gold <laughs> if i had to guess what you're about to pick it's going to be the fucking gold oh god <sighs> deep sigh indeed Deep sigh, indeed. And unfortunately, level threes are starting to sprout now. And I have no connecting piece up there yet. None whatsoever. Fuck me running sideways. Alright, let's do it. Yeah, basically, zombie. At this point, all you're looking for is that. And let's go ahead and heal back some of the damage it's about to do with some... Oh my god, that mundane retribution. That's awesome. Uh, uh, I got concealed for one round. I don't know what it's going to do, but I do know whatever it does, we can heal our way through it. I am so not worried about you right now, Mr. Ice Cream Elemental. Uh, let's go ahead and counter that bitch. Unfortunately, we can't block his one, but that's absolutely fine because I can flagellate. And deal back two magic damage. 
Yay! Suddenly this fight looks a whole lot better. How about some quick two? And then a quick other two. And the Most Holy Grail Knight has defeated the Ice Cream Elemental. For the Warhorn to get Rekindle, Holy Seal, and Fire Blast. The Dueling Buckler to give you Shift, but you would lose range. And then the Bone Armor, which would give you one health and mind strike. I still don't see anything better. Okay. She's still singing away. There's, oh my god. The one rune that we needed to actually be able to, to make our way. Let me go ahead and put you right there. Well, along with a massive gem. And we are going to travel that way as quickly as humanly possible. Holy shit. I cannot believe we actually got the one fucking square that we needed. And let's go ahead and deal three physical damage from the dice being also a physical attack. Uh, we're gonna block all of that Mind Blast and draw a card. And then I'm thinking that we do another three damage Divine Strike. Yeah. Yeah, that Gelato Cube's starting to melt a little bit, huh? How about one final slice right in the gizzard? Bye-bye. Three. You need all three, zombie, and guess what? This is going to do it. Um... Broken Bottle, the Mind Staff, and the Spear. Ah, the Spear can be pretty decent because it works better with your ranged. And there are still physical. And it does give you a little bit of magic blocking. Which I imagine that Elsa the Frozen Princess is probably going to use a lot of magic attacks. So being able to block may not be that bad. But it will mean you lose that Tenacious. Just for the record. But then there's Wise, Mind Strike, and Fire Blast, and then also Rekindle and Shift. The choices are yours and yours alone! Good luck. Okay. Uh, and, and just so you know, Noble, Fate Charge gives us plus two health once we have three or more favor of the fates so defeating a gelato cube on this square will in fact give us the three that we need in order to get that two hearts but we won't be able to spend any of it otherwise we lose two health automatically you see what i'm saying so it's going to be an interesting trade-off i think let us go with divine strike to deal lovely three damage and take two No, it actually has a buff, but you need to work for it, which I which I like. I like that one better than Fate Curse, obviously. Oh my god! Let's go ahead and use Shield Wall to gain two extra damage for basically anything that we do. There we go. A Hardy Four. The Gelato Cube is defeated, and we have another choice: the Spiked Shield. Uh, where you would lose your range, but you would get spikes, eviscerate, and bleed. Uh, and then the Climber's Axe to replace your Cutlass. You would lose Tenacious, but you would gain Shift and Interrupt. You wouldn't actually lose any of the attacks from the Cutlass. You would just gain uh, attacks. But you would lose that Tenacious. And then there's the Conch, which gives you Mind Strike, Focus, Arcane Barrage, and also Stupidity at the cost of your ranged. So what shall you choose, my friend? I believe in you! Okay, you got it. We shall take the gold, we shall take the rune, and we shall take the two extra fucking health. I want to put a massive gem inside her corridor, I want to put another massive gem inside her corridor, and here we go, baby. I've always wanted to spike a princess. This is gonna be fun, y'all. 
Oh, I didn't realize her room basically constitutes four rooms. That's neat. In turn, and instead of going down towards the one massive gym, we're going to go waltzing around the ballroom and find the princess. Wow, that's so many enemies. That is so many enemies coming from my butt. It is. Is it? No. Our quest for the grail continues. She is, in fact, a holy treasure, but she is not the grail. Uh, mm. Let us go ahead and respite. She still has respite, so we need to deal damage to her every turn. And even if it's retribution damage, I think we can make that happen. I really genuinely do. Uh, we can go ahead and block her thin air with my lovely, lovely counter card. Um, unfortunately, she is going to siphon off a good bit of health there because we can't block either of those magic damage, but we can at least counteract her, her abilities. And then, fine. You want to heal one? I'll heal one too, bitch. How you like them apples? Still in net, net zero. Uh, mm, mm, you know what? I think it's worth letting her heal one so that way this turn we deal four. Fucking four. That did not feel very good, did it, princess? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and deal another slice for a quick two. And it looks like she has some comparable healing abilities to my own, but unfortunately for her, we're just a little bit better at wielding them. And there goes the retribution damage over there, so that way she doesn't accidentally heal. Let's go ahead and brace for impact. Draw another card. And get ready to put a nail in this bitch's coffin. She's got two magic damage and two physical blocking. Well, that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and heal back the two she just did. Keep her from healing. And can we go in for the kill? Not yet. But we will after this turn because shield wall gives us two extra damage. This divine hammer gives us one. And that is the three that we need to put a spanking on that pr frozen princess. And melt her delightful little heart. We gained ourselves the witch's hunt. Which unlocks a new dungeoneer in the snow witch. Yay, snow witch. And we gained a new battle scar. Scarred. Where you kill your brother every chance you get. No, I'm just kidding. You start with crush one. Curiously enough, that's bash, I think. Congratulations, most holy grail knight. You've gained me 105 gold. And a new dungeoneer. How say you now, brown cow? And we're going to lay down the witch's hut somewhere over here in the corner. Florm, the snow witch, has decided to join us. I think I'm going to make it another Kisty, because why not? The cold-hearted Kisty. And what abilities does she have out of sheer morbid curiosity? The snow witch. Has Frosty Finger, Favor of the Frozen, where you gain one favor just for using that attack. That's nice. The Ice Bath, dealing one magic damage and dealing more damage per damage dealt. So like this Ice Shield here, which gives you one extra magic, that can suddenly make this a two, uh, two health healing attack. The Rite of Foresight reorders the top three cards of your deck. Neat. Loot, uh, can you work towards the loot choice path of blessings if you don't have gold intentions? It's my favorite blessing. I can, I can see what I can do, yes. And then we have Flash Freeze. Two magic damage is unblockable. Enemy plays same card next round. Interesting. So that basically makes your enemies uh, predictable. You know, if they use stupidity, you can use Flash Freeze to make them use stupidity again. Or anything like that. And then you have Favor, where you start with one Favor just by default. Interestingly enough, so a lot of those items that require you to be Fate Cursed or Fate Blessed kind of activate by default. Neat. With that being said, we have time for one final round for the night. Who's it going to be, ladies and gentlemen? I think it's Weasel. Weasel is the only person who hasn't gone tonight, and he's been so kind as to run the list all night, so I think it's only fair. Uh, Weasel... What would you like to play, my friend? You are the apprentice at the moment. Would you like something a little bit stronger? Although it seems like these uh, ice cream headaches 
levels are I don't they're on par with about stage two I don't think they're on par with world three I think they're on par with about world two so the apprentice should still be able to be effective but just so you know you have the ranger the h2o man so the swashbuckler the alchemist the bruiser the troubadour the barbarian the cat burglar the ice cream monk the drunken sailor the shapeshifter the most holy grail knight and also the mime you say you've been practicing with the apprentice on your own. Would you like to continue continue with that? Also, I would like to be able to speak English. That would be great. Okay, you got it, my friend. The apprentice it is. Let us go exploring and take on Sprinkle Canyon. <laughs> what a delightful avenue for war. Let, it, let me go ahead and pick the apprentice. Enter that dungeon, my friends. Reach the misty mountaintops before they get us, I think is what it is. Oh, wow. They are, in fact, coming from my butt. A new friend? Come here for a hug! Oh, look at him. He's adorable. We have to defeat three level three snowmen. And then we get to find the baby snowman. Yay! Um, The bad news is... It's going to be a second before we're strong enough to be able to take on one of these guys. Except for the Dishonorable Snowman. We might be able to take on the Dishonorable and the Commendable Snowman sooner rather than later. It's still going to be a bitch, though. Okay. I'm laying out one yakety yak. Let's make that two. And then basically we'll have a two-item advantage going into our first real snowman fight. I think that may be the better way to go about it. We're going to go ahead and out-damage the Yakety Yak, because at this point, ouch, he still has the advantage over us. Let's bash him over the head. Excuse me. Don't mind me. Coming through. Mm, that thin air card, though. Now I kind of wish I had saved uh, the blocking for now. Oh, well, it's absolutely fine. I'm going to go ahead and use Intuition, so that way when he makes us discard a card, we can just draw two right back. And with that bite coming around, how about getting zapped, motherfucker? Mm, that charge is not going to feel great. Let's go ahead and take take away some of that pain. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That weasel, that did not go so well. Shit. A scream is heard to chill the bones. Oh. I'm not really sure whether that was me being distracted by the talk in the chat or whether that was an unfortunate circumstance where the yakety yak eh, kind of talked back. But unfortunately, that did not go so well. I apologize for your death. But if it makes you feel any better, well, I would say you're next to Harwood, but I don't think you are. I think you're all the way over here on this side. Yes, Weasel, there you are. The dead apprentice. I am sorry, my friend very disappointed but with that means we do have time for in fact one more since unfortunately that uh did not last very long really weasel i think you should go again i i i i think you should go again oh yeah evie you like my graveyard it's pretty goddamn big i'm thinking that once i finally beat this game in full i'm going to make a poster out of my entire uh uh graveyard Just basically string all the JPEGs together into one giant fucking printable thing. Okay. Absolutely. Evie, apparently the chat would like for you to go. <laughs> cool. Absolutely. <clears throat> In that case... 
I need for you to make a choice. Who would you like to play? You have the Ranger, the H2O Mancer, the Swashbuckler, the Alchemist, the Bruiser, the Troubadour, the Barbarian, the Cat Burglar, the Ice Cream Monk, the Drunken Sailor, the Shapeshifter, the Most Holy Grail Knight, the Mime, and the Snow Witch. All of which are available for you to go and slaughter my enemies. What shall it be, Evie? Make your choice. Do, 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 do. Okay, you've got it. I don't know why it's not registering my capital letters tonight for some reason, but it is not. Hmm. There we go. That was weird. And here we go, Evie. Uh, just so you know what you'll be dealing with here. The Snow Witch is one that's going to deal a lot with the Favor of the Fates that we now have added into the game. Frosty Finger does one magic damage. Favor of the Frozen does one damage and also gives you a favor if that magic damage is successful. The Ice Bath does one magic damage and also heals per damage dealt. The Ice Shield blocks, gives one additional magic damage. The Rite of Foresight reorders the top three cards of your deck, and Flash Freeze forces the enemy to play the same card next round. Curious ability indeed. And then also gives you Favored, where each battle you start with one Favor of the Fates. So let's fucking do this thing, shall we? Now, as everyone knows, we are moving right along to the Sprinkle Canyon. And Eevee, you'll be the second one to dive in, hopefully slightly more successful than the first. Slightly. I'm hoping. Really hoping. Enter the Snow Witch. Now, curiosity begs the question. We have not really taken advantage of the Favor of Fates as much as we could have. Should have. Oh yeah, I am still using the Crone's Blessing. That may actually be why we're a little bit weaker than we normally would be. Because we're drawing that extra card per turn. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I only have five health when normally I would have six right now. Huh. Well, isn't that a, quite the development? Um, well, as we know, the Commendable Snowman and the Dishonorable Snowman are the first two that'll be the most killable, I guess, is the way to put it. So I'm thinking that we should, we, I mean, the Yakety Yak is the weakest one of this map. Will, will the fucking Snow Witch... Be strong enough to take him out. Let's flash freeze him into playing one damage each turn. And I think this time... I'm going to deal favor of the frozen. Which is going to give us an additional favor. Now we have two. We can burn a snow witch card. We can draw a card in battle. And he's going to make us discard here in just a second. I'm not going to fall prey to it this time. Heal thyself. Excellent. The favor of battle is turning indeed. Um, crap. And unfortunately, both, I mean, the good news is it looks like he mostly has just one damage dealing abilities. But I'm thinking I can make him discard his fuck. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Why did he do that thing where he just fucked me? God damn it. Fucking fuck. Ah. <sighs> I most certainly did not. What do you mean, Dan? How did I how did I fuck that up? I mean I did. I kinda just did. But I was hoping to be able to get something that was also one damage and didn't block my damage. <sighs> Hello. 
Oh, well. It's absolutely fine. <sighs> Damn it. Uh, curiosity begs the question. Stand by just one second. <sighs> I mean, you know, zombie, <laughs> there's something to be said for those overpowered tier three characters, clearly. But I don't know. Maybe. Oh, look at, oh, look at it. We got the icebox for taking out Sharp Wit. And the carrot for the Arch Vegan. And the selfie portrait for the Sorbet. The cease and desist order. <laughs> for killing Elsa, we got a lawsuit. A cease and desist order. <laughs> That's fucking great. That is fucking hysterical. And then for killing all the people over here in the Pirate's Cove, Lego Ham, for Cleaver Joe, the Albatross's Beak for killing Greybeard, the Crown and Scepter from the Crab King, the Black Pearl from Fishbone, Jolly Roger, the Quartermaster's, Pe uh, the Quartermaster's Pig League, and the Eversail, the Eversail Wheel. Gotcha. <clears throat> Do, 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 do. I want to know what the character on the loot section is. What? What you talking about? What you talking about, Willis? The character on the loot section? Oh, the one who's sitting on the loot, like when you actually count it up at the end? Oh, God, that artificer. That artificer is going to be so overpowered. He never finds common loot. Look at that shit. Like, I'm wondering if I shouldn't take that then as the next purchase it is a new character after all we have all of the items that we can get yes it would be great to get crone's mind but come on what does the heart serum give me holy one two oh, that's not bad All right, let's go one more round, ladies and gentlemen. What do you say? One more round and then we'll call it a night. Who wants to go? You know, zombie, I wouldn't blame you if you did. I really wouldn't. Most Holy Grail night is awesome. I think it's Weasel. I think it should be Weasel because he had kind of the short round. Now, so did Evie. So if, if she wants to, she can go again too. But uh, who wants to go? And this time I'll actually pick my uh, raising health blessing and we won't die so goddamn easily. Okay, Harwood wants to go for a second round. Uh, being the first one to speak, you get the opportunity, my friend. Uh, I think you already have a character, do you? No, actually. Harwood, who would you like to be, my friend? We have at your disposal the mime, the most holy grail knight, the shapeshifter, the drunken sailor, the ice cream monk, the cat burglar, the barbarian, the troubadour, the bruiser, the alchemist, the swashbuckler, the H2O man, the ranger, the chump, and the apprentice. Go for it, my friend. Evie, they're just really nice to new people. That's basically what it is. Once you've been hanging around here for a while, they'll just be like, get to the back of the goddamn line. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Okay, Harwood wants to be the shapeshifter. You got it, my friend. As you can see, you have a nice hearty selection of skills at your disposal. And also the wild trait, meaning that you start with growth one. <laughs> yeah, Evie, you right. And onwards we go back into Sprinkle Canyon again. Sprinkle Canyon is mostly sprinkled with the blood of Dungeoneers at this point. Jesus Christ. Let's give this a go. Um, the, the good news is it gives us one down, but it's not really going to help as much as you would think. 
And this one can't attach any fucking weir. I can go here. And place a yakety yak. And pray. Basically hardwood. This is kind of what we're doing at this point. Spraying and praying, baby. All over that yakety yak. And I forgot to put the goddamn boss again! Son of a bitch! Son of a bitch! God fucking shit cunting damn it! Why am I the worst human being ever of all time ever? Uh, aspect of the bolt. And we can't really use rekindle yet because he's still blocking our magic damage. And Harwood is about to die. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and use rekindle to heal back one. So unless he has two, yep, we are good to go, ladies and gentlemen. This is our first victory. Our first actual victory yay <laughs> holy shit okay harwood uh it seems like we might actually be able to win something now would you like the scarf to give you holy seal the bark vest to give you tenacious restore and also stupidity or the spyglass to give you range ed which could totally save your goddamn life ranged has come in so super handy this 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 hour i don't know if you can look it over like a four-leaf clover that I've overlooked before, 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 before. <laughs> That's an old Looney Tunes joke. Sorry, I'll stop. Harwood, what would you like, my friend? Excellent choice. And now we move on with the ability to deal damage first, as long as it's physical damage. And hopefully a good fountain in our way. God, please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, fucking please. Fuck! And it would be blindness, too. Like, oh, that's so... That is maddening right there. Can we maybe get another one? Well, at least that one's a good one. Uh, yes. Yes, Evie. Yes, it is. I've worn those on several occasions. Uh, especially once it gets really cold. Well, really cold for Texas. That scarf is so goddamn warm. So super goddamn warm. And right now, it's holding most of the pins that I've gotten from the loot crate so far. And let's go ahead and use Aspect of the Bull, Range Ed, to deal some good damage quickly. I'm going to hold on to Aspect of the Bull for now. And let's go ahead and use some um, Panther damage. I'm going to save that bull for just in case there comes a time where I'm going to need to do that two damage or else he's going to fucking kill me. He's going to try and stomp it out now. That's absolutely fine. We can both regenerate back the damage that he just dealt and also let him deal one to himself. And here comes that aspect of the bull charging down the lane, murdering that abominable snowman. You know, Eevee, I kind of have to agree. Uh, and... I I have to say, as much as I've enjoyed most of the other Doctor Whos that have come along, David Tennant. Just David fucking Tennant. They can't beat David Tennant. Although John Hurt's a close third. I guess. Peter Capaldi's a good second. Chris Freck was a Matt Smith. I'm not a huge Matt Smith fan, but that's just me. I wasn't a 14-year-old girl, so I didn't really get it. And Harwood, you have another choice, my friend. Uh, the rope to give you another starting hand size in battle. The hand axe to give you slice and bash. And then the twig to give you just bash. Uh, what shall you choose, my friend? Probably the hand axe. If I had to guess, it's going to be the hand axe. And I wouldn't blame you one iota. <laughs> fair enough, Weasel. That is completely fair. All right. <sighs> and we're going to be blind here in just a second. We are going to be fl fighting super duper duper blind, and I am not a fan of that. I kind of want some favor. If we can, that would be great. 
Yes, excellent. So we're going to be both blind and powerful, where our unblockable attacks will gain an extra magic damage next fight. And it looks like we're actually going to be taking on the, the Yakety Yak with blind instead of the Condemnable Snowman with blind. So that is infinitely easier to do. We're going to go ahead and put another rune down there. Don't mind if you do. And a Yakety Yak. Enter. <laughs> Evie, I have gone on a good, like, 10-minute fucking rant about how David Tennant had a botched ending for, for getting out of being the doctor. And uh, I won't... I won't go through it again, but... Suffice to say, I was not a fan of how he went out, either. I'm gonna use the Aspect of the Bull, which is the two quick damage, and defeated. Fuck you. Just because I'm blind doesn't mean I'm defenseless, son. And so, Harwood, you have the Scarf, which gives you Holy Seal, the Bandana, -na 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 -na, which gives you Shift and Repel. And then, of course, the Meat Cleaver, giving you Fury and Stupidity. What shall it be, my friend? Uh, mm, oh god. I don't. Fuck it. You know what? It's been a while since I've done it, so fuck it. We'll do it live. Uh, spoiler alert for anybody who hasn't seen the end of David Tennant's season of Doctor Who. I hate it. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. You want to know why? I wanted to cry. I really wanted to cry when my favorite character in the entire Doctor Who series, second only to Dr. Donna, left the show forever until the specials came along. But, the reason why I was so mad, the very reason why I could not get the catharsis that I wanted was not because of the circumstances around his death. <clears throat> that was great. That was amazing. Are you kidding me? The person who knocks being Donna's grandpa. Oh, it was so good. It was so good. The knocking wasn't of death. The knocking was to save someone. Oh. And so then you have the turn where David Tennant absorbs all this radiation and he goes to tell everyone goodbye. Something that, that he has never done. The doctor has never said goodbye. To anyone. Ever. Ooh, we cannot deal damage next round? That's not good. And so, after all of that, he ends up back on the TARDIS. Where he says goodbye to the one thing that has supported him throughout all of his madness. Throughout all of his insanity. His ship. And he confides in the ship the one thing he would never tell a, tell a human being. But he doesn't want to go. And then he kind of strokes it a little bit. For lack of a better term. And then he goes. And then you get the... Fuck! No! Fuck! Fuck! Unfortunately, there is nothing that I can do. Oh, god damn it. I can't block it, unfortunately. All I can do is this two physical, and that's not going to be enough to kill him, and Harwood lost. Fuck me, this mission's hard. But anyway, it wouldn't have... How many ways can a dungeoneer die before you... It probably would have healed me back to, to alive. That regeneration works if it heals you more than you would have died. It's entirely possible it would have done that, zombie. It is entirely possible that it would have done that. God damn it. Oh, well, anyway. So then as David Tennant is stroking his way around the ship, the ship goes down, right? But it's that part right there. The part between him saying, I don't want to die... And the ship crashing. That's what makes me mad. Because I don't believe him. I wanted to believe him. Here's my ending. I wanted to have him destroy the ship with his own fury. 
at having to die. He didn't die because he was shot or or some circumstances uncontrollable. He had to choose to give up his life for a human being. For something as inconsequential as a human being. I wanted rage. I wanted the ship to be destroyed from the inside because he was so mad about having to die. That's what I wanted from that ending. I wanted him to punch the ship with rage and anger. The one emotion that he would not allow himself to feel. And when he did, destruction happened. And I feel like that would have been a much, much more, um, well, making sense transition to having the ship crash than just, oh no, guess what? It's being pulled in another direction yet fucking again. Because David Tennant's doctor was all about self-control. It was all about keeping yourself in line because that's what a hero does. A hero isn't the sum of your actions or the sum of your words. It's both. It's always been both. And so I, I, I just wanted more. And you guys are still talking about the election. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's a pretty good place to call it an end for the evening. <laughs> Thank you all so much for joining us tonight as a little bit of a distraction away from the election tonight. So I hope that uh, you all enjoy the rest of the coverage for the evening and enjoy the rest of your night. Please tell everyone you love them. <laughs> Here's hoping that we're all here in the morning. Uh, you're watching this on twitch.tv slash novice. My name is Tim Leftwich. Enjoy the uh, outro music, ladies and gentlemen. Please join us back here on Thursday. When, uh, assuming that the world is still running and the power is still on, we'll be back here with uh, another game. I think Thursday night will be the premiere of Dishonored 2. So stay tuned for that, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be fucking great. Corvo Atana returns! And this time, Emily takes the lead. <laughs> we'll see you on Thursday, ladies and gentlemen. As always, we'll see you next time.